show you a couple things I do to test the service. As you can see, it zooms right into the West Coast. We set that up in the data frame property, so that's working. Um, if you modify map and enable pop-up, you can now identify on the information. You can see the name comes across as the key. That was the display field that you chose, but you can still see all this other information. So that it set up for all the layers. So I actually like to test this when I'm off the NOAA network just to understand how it's performing for somebody who's not connected to our network. Another thing that we like to do with our REST endpoint is to place this URL in the online linkages of the metadata records. This just provides more connection to you know, the digital data within that metadata record. Um, in terms of maintaining your services, one thing that is new in 10.3 is the ability to change your, um, your layer IDs when you're publishing services. Previously, when you would go to add in a layer in, in between um, two other layers, that would affect let me bring back up the REST page, that would affect all these layer IDs here. And if somebody's looking at submarine cables and looking at this URL, if you were to all of a sudden insert something into in between here, submarine cables would then become five and they'd actually be looking at the new layer, which they may not want. So it's always good to let your users know when changes might be occurring for those reasons. But also within 10.3, there's now a way that you can go about setting those layer IDs yourself. So back in the data frame properties, within the general tab, you can check this box to allow assignment of unique numeric IDs for map service publishing. So once you have that checked, you can now go in, say I just inserted this layer and I wanted to make sure that it actually came in the layer ID after the last layer. Within the general tab, this is where you would set a unique ID for that new layer. So then your previous layer IDs that are published on your service are not, not affected. So yes, it's a good idea to let your users know when you're updating your data. We do this by posting announcements on our website. We also encourage our users to sign up for our newsletters. This is our monthly newsletter that um, talks just not just about our data updates, but other data updates that we have as well. And this form allows users to actually get um, emails about data and math services pertaining to updates for the marine.gov and the digital coast. So that concludes the demo portion of this webinar, and I will now pass it back to you, Todd.